So Brendan, I think you're right, it is about time we took this to a close. This will be my final full length video. After this I propose we make a one minute summation of each of what we've each said and then we put it to some sort of vote and then find some sort of punishment for the loser. I'd love to hear what people's punishment ideas is. And I've just finished watching your um, video where you advocate piracy again and I've thought of something that may have solved your problem that you didn't think of. You were looking to borrow the book from your friends. Why not try to borrow it from the library? Libraries are fantastic public institutions that the ebook has just no alternative for. In fact, one of the saddest things about widespread ebook use could be the death of the library. I don't think it will happen, quite frankly, because A, I think the book is better, and B, I think that um, libraries as a public resource, space to meet people, space to discuss things, space to study, will still exist. I spent a lot of time at school studying in the public library back home. The first of over a ridiculous number, like 2,000, built by Andrew Carnegie, a, a fine proponent of the library, if there ever was one. And, you know, there's masses of books there waiting to be read, different sizes, different ages, different genres, all next to each other. The only resource of knowledge I can think that outstrips a library is the internet. And yes, the internet is wonderful, and it allows us to have discussions like this. But I've got to say, I'd love, I'd love to be able to spend more time in a good library, um, and that's what the book does. The ebook yet hasn't got a way to allow um, people to borrow books. When I was a kid, family wasn't as well off. Went to the library to get books because my parents preferred for me to get them that way than for me to buy them, which is fair enough. There's currently if ebooks took over, there's no lending system yet. I'm not saying there won't be one, there probably will be. But as of yet, you've got to own a Kindle, which is a bit expensive, and then you've got to pay separately for each of the books, because you can't have some software patch thing yet to take them over. And I think libraries, amongst all the other things that I've already said, are one of the reasons that books are fantastic.